Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday. It's March the 12th, and it is the last Showbiz Top 5 we'll be having for about a week. Going on a little spring vacation, a staycation in my case. But we'll leave you with this. Chad Ochocinco, he is with the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, he's got a lot of stuff going on on the side. He's going to be having his own reality show on VH1. The working title right now is The Tournament. And Chad's going to go across the country meeting all these women who want to date him. Apparently, there are quite a few. And he's going to narrow that field down to 16, four from each quadrant of the country. I guess you'll get the Yankee girl, the Southern Belle, the... California girl and I don't know what else but they're dividing the country in fours picking four from each and then those 16 will compete against each other for Chad's love now that's going to hit the airwaves sometime in July but in the meantime Chad's going to be dancing his butt off on Dancing with the Stars and that comes back on March 22nd when I come back from my vacation as well but uh, he's going to be dancing with Cheryl Burke and Cheryl let us in on a little behind the scenes secret that Chad's developed a bit of a crush on other celebrity dancer by the name of Kate Goslin. Now Jasmine V, her real name is Jasmine Viegas, but she wants to do the Jasmine V thing. She is the love interest, for lack of a better term, in Justin Bieber's new video for Baby. Now she says, of course there's gonna be rumors flying around the two of them are dating. She says it's not true. She did hang out with them. She does consider him a friend, but there were always so many people around. And yes, they did share a kiss. But it was strictly for the video. However, that kiss ended up on the editing room floor. I guess they figured little girls around the country couldn't handle seeing Justin making out like that. Or maybe they couldn't bear to put Kid Craddock through that, having to watch it. All right, Katherine Heigl was supposed to be back on the set of Grey's Anatomy on March 1st. She took a three-month maternity leave when she and her husband Josh Kelly adopted a little girl. And March 1st came and March 1st went and no sign of Katherine Heigl on set. Sources say that the show creator Shonda Rhimes finally gave in and said, all right, you can get out of your contract. Go do your movie career and be a superstar. So now it's just up to ABC and to Katherine's reps how to handle you know, tying up these nasty little loose ends. The official autopsy results from Corey Hames' autopsy, the coroner's report, are not made public yet, but his mother said the coroner had the courtesy of calling her personally and telling her that he suffered from pulmonary congestion, that he had an enlarged heart and also fluid in his lungs. Were those the three things that killed him? Any one thing, a combination? Was it drugs? Uh, we don't know that yet. There are not official findings until they get the co uh, toxicology reports back, and that could take about a month. But uh, in the meantime, we do know that Corey is going to be buried in his native Canada, and our hearts just go out to the family. Just a tragic loss there with Corey Haim. Now, finally, American Idol, pretty shocking last night, but I feel partly responsible. I am a passive American Idol viewer. I watch, I enjoy it, I root for my favorites, but I don't pick up the phone and call. I don't know if you're in the same boat with me, but I don't really know who was more surprised last night. Was it Katie Stevens, who was told she was staying, or was it Lily Scott, who was told, you got to get out of here? Lily Scott was obviously a little bit upset. She's like, obviously, I don't know what the people of America want to hear, because I thought I was doing pretty good. And she was one of the favorites to win the whole thing, and she didn't even make the top 12. And on the guy's side, you know, just sad. Tadra Hall, I think he was a good guy, meant well, just couldn't get quite past it with the judges and quite past it with America. And the one that just broke your heart, Alex Lambert, poor thing, just crying, couldn't control, you know, the little red eyes and the stuffy nose from, you know, crying when he found out he was going home. One of the most more brilliant voices, I think, of the contestants this year, but just didn't have that stage present. It ended up kicking him in the butt. So hopefully he'll be able to work on that and maybe come back again next year and try again. So we've got the top 12. They'll be back on Tuesday night, and the theme of Tuesday's show will be the music of the Rolling Stones. So we'll hear a little what. Start Me Up will be one of the selections there. Maybe a little Angie. Might be an interesting show. We'll see what they do with it. And that's your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday, March 12th. I'll see you back here in one week.